Ruth Lopez tells us her husband's treatment has racked up over $140,000 in medical expenses, and that's more than her family can afford. I believe in miracles. I believe in God. Ruth Lopez's husband, Fidencio, fell from a 16-foot ladder while painting the inside of their home back in May and hit the ground head first. He was rushed to McAllen Medical Center. Doctors said Pastor Fidencio had suffered a severe brain injury and gave him a bleak prognosis. He told me, Mrs. Lopez, your husband only has 5% chance of life. Whether I do the, ex do the, the surgery or not, the accident is very severe. He only has 5% chance of life. He's not going to make it. So I told him, doctor, I will take that 5%. After brain surgery, Fidencio went into a three-week-long coma. Then suddenly, Ruth says her prayers were answered. Fidencio finally woke up. And I believe this was a miracle. It's actually a miracle of God. Doctors tell Ruth her husband will never be able to walk. His left side is paralyzed. Ruth says Fidencio still isn't breathing or eating on his own. So she was stunned when hospital staff told her it was time to take him home. Down to Mrs. Lopez, you do not have insurance. You do not have medical coverage, so you have to take him home. He has to be discharged. Ruth doesn't qualify for medical assistance and needs all the help she can get. It's the hardest thing she's ever had to deal with. I have been feeling really run down emotionally. It's affected me a lot, a lot, and I feel sick also, but I have to be there for my husband. I have to be strong. Ruth Lopez worries she doesn't have the medical supplies Fidencio needs, like a hospital bed with side rails and durable medical equipment to care for him once he is home. In the studio, Ashley Custer, Action 4 News.